So I'll just give a, a brief overview of, I guess, the wider school and then where we fit within within the um, within the school. So we are the School of Architecture, Planning and uh, Environmental Policy. Yeah, so we're four university subjects. Um, so architecture, there's ourselves, there's landscape architecture and there's regional and urban planning. So we are quite a large school, one of the biggest in the um, in the university. So we're 144 people uh, applied, uh, employed across all all grades uh, in our programs. We've around a thousand, a thousand students. So I guess that gives you um, an idea of the scale, the scale of the of the school. But then very importantly for us, and the uh, the environmental policy uh, unit is that each subject has the autonomy to deliver its programs, manage its cost centres, engage in research uh, in its own uh, subject area. So we're one school, but we are four distinct uh, subject areas. So I guess that's, uh, as I say, that's uh, that's very important uh, for the environmental policy uh, unit. So in terms of the environmental policy unit specifically, so we are 10 staff. Uh, we have six full time faculty. We have one joint hire between ourselves and landscape uh, architecture. And as of as of this year, as of, of now, we have uh, one full professor. I'll introduce the, um, the, the, the team a little bit more uh, in the next slide. One professor, one associate professor. Four assistant professors, we've research fellow, teaching fellow, design fellow, and maybe even um, most importantly, we have an excellent research manager who uh, who manages all, not just the EP uh, funding applications and um, projects, but uh, across the school. So she is incredibly valuable and incredibly um, uh, busy and coveted uh, across the uh, across the university. So let's give you an, an idea of uh, of the team here in um, in environmental policy. So as Olaf has said, there is myself um, from an economics uh, environmental economics background. I'm the head of subject. Um, my main research interests are in the economics of happiness, uh, risk, and risk perception. Um, then we have uh, Luke Kelleher. So he was promoted to associate professor just this this month. So um, he's uh, congratulations to uh, to Luke. He looks at transport, transport uh, economics. I think Peter is probably the person you're most uh, familiar with. So the full professor of environmental policy has been has been um, uh, researching environmental economics and as uh, as Gunnar said, the application of environmental economics for many many years. And Frank Frank is retired, but is still. Semi-active, semi-active, I guess, uh, in terms of his uh, his contribution. Uh, we have Owen O'Neill, uh, who was uh, recently promoted to professor. Um, so he looks at transaction costs. He looks at um, at uh, risk and risk perception. Myself and him have done done some uh, research together. He is the head of the entire school, so he has a a big job. Uh, but he is stepping down from that role, and in, I, I think importantly for this collaboration, he will be taking over as director of the UCD Art Institute. And so hopefully there will be a a um a place for collaboration between uh, EFD and the UCD Art Institute uh, under his uh, tenure. So I think that's really really exciting um uh, potential in terms of uh, further collaboration. So we've Leo, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Leo Lades. He is a behavioral scientist. Um, so working on uh, on sludge and uh, nudging uh, again, transaction costs and how to how to reduce them. We have Craig Bullock again. You might be more familiar familiar with Craig. Uh, been researching environmental economics um, and uh, evaluation, etc. for for many many years. Uh, Andrew Kelly, who works with us but has his own uh, consultancy company. Cara Gustaberg. So she's that joint hire between uh, between landscape, uh, architecture, and and ourselves. Very, very, um, very involved in disseminating knowledge to the public. She has her own radio show. Um, so she's she you'll see her on the media. She's a huge Twitter following. So she's very, very involved in that dissemination, which I think is quite quite important. Louise, uh, please don't uh, don't poach her. Our research manager, who is uh, who is brilliant. Uh, Francis Ashmore is the um, the graduate administrator. We have Anne Pender. Who's a design fellow? So very involved in teaching. There's Shane McGuinness, who you'll hear hear from in um in a minute. He is a co lead on one of our flagship uh, Horizon projects that I'll say a little bit uh, about in a minute because he'll he'll discuss that a little bit more. Liana, who you know uh, quite well and is leading the uh, this collaboration between uh, ourselves and EFD, and then we have some. Research assistants, teaching fellows, they tend to change. The, the Emma has already left, um, uh, so there's a, there's a little bit of turnover in those types of uh, of positions. So that's the that's the team. Uh, I'll talk a little tiny bit about the uh, the teaching and learning. Uh, so our key programs is the BSc uh, City Planning Environmental Policy. This is our undergraduate program in UCD. You must have 
your subject must be an undergraduate program to get yourself a, a subject. So we have to have an undergraduate uh, project. This is delivered with uh, our planning colleagues. We feed in environmental economics, environmental policy, climate policy, similar with the masters of environmental policy. So environmental economics is a big, a big component. And every time we get our graduates back, and it, uh, so we get our uh, recent graduates back to talk to our new cohorts and they say, you know, focus on your environmental economics. Listening class is absolutely essential uh, when you're out in the real real world making policy uh, decisions. So they recognize the importance of that application of uh, environmental economics to uh, to policy. Environment and development, where uh, Liana is leading climate policy, uh, where we're all, all involved. We also have quite a recent uh, collaboration with Chang University in China. So this has allowed us to uh, to hire six staff between ourselves and uh, environmental policy. There's 450 uh, students based in in China that will get UCD uh, degrees. So it's quite a it's a it's a big undertaking. Um, there's a, there's there, there, there's ourselves, the planning uh, faculty, but then there's other we have uh, collaborations in UCD with Beijing and other universities as well. And then as um. As Gunnar has mentioned, we have a quite a vibrant PhD program. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that the the, the that your own uh, PhD program is um is 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 kind of on the way down a little bit at the moment. Hopefully that won't uh, that'll be a temporary uh, blip. So we currently eight full time EP students based here in uh, Dublin, working on a range of um of issues. There's about I think thirty PhD students in the school, but as I say, eight of them are on the EP uh, in the EP area. So a little idea about our research funding and uh, in terms of uh, the, the the citation uh, impact. So we've always been quite quite um quite successful in terms of bringing in uh, research funding. This is for the whole school rather than just EP. It's um it can be difficult to break to break down the uh, the numbers exactly. But you can see quite quite successful over the last number of years in terms of uh, bringing in uh, research uh, funding. Is that translating into publication citations, etc., uh, which is an impact, which is really obviously uh, what you want. Uh, so that the, the answer is yes. Uh, so we've the second highest field weighted citation index in the university. I think physics is the uh, is the highest with ourselves uh, second. And it is the planning environmental policy uh, units that are really, really driving uh, that citation. So our, our, our publications are heavily, uh, heavily cited, which is uh, obviously uh, great. So the, the actual unit itself, um, so uh, Gunnar mentioned uh, Frank Convery. So it was set up by Frank about 30, uh, 30 years ago. So he is now uh, retired, but still still involved. And really, we do we do pride ourselves on, um, on not only being research intensive, but feeding into the policy debate, because that's really what we want to do. We want to we want that that international research to feed into uh, into um, policy. Uh, policy solutions. So some of the areas that we're involved in, uh, climate change economics, behavioral science, cost benefit analysis, policy instruments, transportation, sustainability, quality of life, one of my own uh, areas, energy being a big, big issue at the, at the moment, risk perception, climate change adaptation, and then some of the, um, the, the, the more relevant perhaps to, um, to, the, to the, uh, the developing South, sustainable urbanization in low middle income countries. And probably more recently, corporate sustainability and ESG and you know, the European Union are quite quite involved in that area at the at the moment. So some of the the the, the publications. Uh, so it's it's we're we're quite a broad in terms of our uh, research areas. Um. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's uh, some environmental economics, but other other uh, and um, research analysis etc. As well. So we've environmental modelling. This is Craig Bullock. Uh, some of the the papers he's he published sludge and transaction costs so behavioral science this application of uh, behavioral science to reduce uh, the burden of transaction costs uh, in, uh, in 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 policy making so spatial analysis is Lou Kelleher transportation sp spatial analysis uh, Yulu would have been been uh, as a gunner said quite involved in this area as um, as well but then policy, we like to, to, to try and publish policy papers and feed into that, those policy debates. That's a paper by myself and uh, Owen O'Neill. Um, but yes, we were certainly still still very, very involved in the environmental economics of so cost benefit analysis of uh, this was one of paper by myself and Craig in terms of the bike shares, bike share uh, system in uh, in Dublin. Uh, this is a paper by Shane McGuinness, who you'll hear, hear from in a, in a minute. So looking at the implementation of the sustainable the development goals at the local level. So this idea of a just transition involving the public public participation, uh, et cetera, which is very, very uh, relevant and important. And then, of course, Liana's work 
in terms of um of climate adaptation in those those developing countries, small, medium, uh, developing countries and uh, and beyond. So that's a very very short flavour of some of our uh, of, of some of the publications. So in terms of our current uh, research awards. So again, this is just the environmental policy uh, area. Uh, so a broad range of uh, of, of projects uh, going on from uh, Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland, um, Shane's and, and Craig's Horizon project is really a flagship uh, project. I'll say a little bit uh, about that uh, because it's 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 a huge huge undertaking. Environmental Protection Agency. So this is a project that is um, looking at reducing trans transaction costs in the um, in the climate adaptation plans in uh, in Ireland. Uh, Liana's Weco Adapt project that she'll talk about her herself and then we've other other projects this is Cara looking at a uh, climate action analysis for uh, for friends of the of the earth so waterlands as i say it's a it's a massive project i don't envy uh, shane and craig in, uh, in running this uh, project so it's about restoring wetland sites across uh, across europe which is usually important in the context of climate change and even more important uh, given the uh, the eu uh, nature rest restoration law that is that is uh, currently going through the uh, through the european system so very very important and it's a huge it's a huge project um so it's a uh, it's ongoing until november 2026 32 partners from 14 countries with uc really Shane and Craig as the uh, as the lead and 23 million as the as the budget so it's it's one of one of the biggest projects in uh, in the university never mind the um uh, the school that is uh, currently on ongoing and then in terms of some of the impacts of I, so this is really where we where we want to be involved in. So absolutely, the 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 academic uh, publications etc. are very important. But this is what we this is where we pride ourselves in terms of actually feeding into the policy process. So we have Peter is the chair of Science Foundation Ireland in um is one of our main funding funding bodies uh, for both the STEM and uh, and uh, social science uh, areas. Uh, Cara Bus Gustenberg is on the board of the Climate Change Advis Advisory Council. So myself and Owen O'Neill were expert witnesses at a, at a, a Rockdus committees. We feed into the national and international policy uh, citations. So our, our our research is heavily cited by uh, by the European Union, uh, by the European Commission, the European Parliament, government agencies, uh, etc. We're asked to author uh, government um, government reports. And of course, something that I think uh, will have a, a huge impact and we're really, really looking forward to. And uh, thank you for, for accepting our application to, um, to, uh, to EFD, but being uh, a member of, uh, of EFD. So I will, uh, hopefully that's a, a very brief overview of the, uh, of the school and particularly the, the environmental policy uh, unit.